When making a maze, I kind of like to think of it as pretty much like a puzzle that you can I pretty much walk into. So I like to open up the, uh, the grid and I guess make a bunch of like possible pathways, potential um, routes that you can take to get to the ends. Any route that is, doesn't have like a dead end is pretty much fair play. I'll just keep a bunch of these pathways open and I'm not really uh, keeping track of, you know, how I got to that point, but just that you can get to that point. You know, that's just the fun. You can make like any decision at any time, you know, when you're making something like this. I mean, I'll just keep drawing, you know, lines uh, that, you know, eventually will become a walkway. And at the very end, like, I'll start like, you know, cutting them off, I think, one at a time. And once you get to the end over here, there will only be one left. If I can make a lot of twists, turns, and just winding pathways, then it can make it like confusing and uh, more fun for someone who wants to try to walk through it. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, I think for Sean, it's uh, almost a way to get out and kind of escape the stresses of college and everything like that and kind of relax and, you know, it's something he clearly loves to do and I admire, you know, how he's able to, to focus and, you know, really stays in the zone the whole time and it seems like he really enjoys it and I just go, way, love going out and spending mistake. time with him and, you know, watching him do his magic, so. At first I did it, uh, you know, just kind of as like a thing of free time, but then once I was able to show my friends, you know, what I could do, I thought it would be fun, you know, just to go out like whenever we had a chance and try to go like make a maze. And then every once in a while, you know, I'd, you know, see someone walk up and ask me what I'm doing and they were like kind of interested. And if they had fun, you know, trying to walk through my maze, then why stop making them?